Hello, one and all. In this one, I'm going to find the antiderivative of sine x multiplying cosine of cosine of x. At first, when you look at this, it looks a bit menacing. Until you recognize the fact that the following basically is true. We have a function right here, and then over here you have its derivative. So once those two things are recognized, then that tells you immediately variable substitution is something to be tried. So let's take a look here at what I mean. So first, I'm going to set u equal to cosine x. So I'm setting u equal to this right here. So by writing u equals cosine x, I'm saying that u is equal to this cosine x right here. So that means that this will have to be replaced with u at some point. Once you have this, the next step is to differentiate. So I'm going to have du equals negative sine of x dx. Now you're going to make a comparison. Take a look. You have dx and you have dx. You have sine x and you have sine x. The only thing is in the, in the integrand, you don't have a negative out here. See that? So to fix that, we can do is simply this. Take a look. You can put a negative one out here and just make sure you also multiply by a negative one on the outside. Why is that the case? Because the two negatives multiplied give back a positive and you haven't changed anything. But this is really useful because now that you see this piece together with that piece must match this piece perfectly. See that negative sine x dx is equal to du. So let's fix it. Now I'm going to have negative. I'm going to now replace. So I'm going to have cosine u. And du, as you can see, is equal to negative sine x dx. So I'm just going to put du over here. And at this point, you just anti-differentiate, so negative sine u plus c. And do keep in mind that u is defined as cosine x here, so I'm just going to go back to that variable by doing negative sine of cosine of x plus c. So this is the antiderivative. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like.